All right, welcome to part three of Trump versus Firebat. This is game number four, I believe, with Firebat up to one. Let's get into it. I'm um, just going to warn you right away that this game goes pretty quick. Not a whole lot of analysis to be done here. Um, part of the reason why I uh, chose this match, um, a bit of a spoiler alert, is because of the patron versus the freeze mage that, that uh, occurs later. And you'll see that on part four. Four, I believe. Sorry, spoiler alert that there's a part four. Um, anyway, so this game goes pretty quickly. Um, Trump decides to keep a uh, double shave Nax Ramus. And uh, the reasoning for that is pretty obvious. Turn two shade, turn three shade, turn four plaza shredder. Pretty good uh, situation. I believe he mulligans that Savage of War. Savage of War. Wow. I believe he mulligans that Savage War away. And. Uh, yeah, he does, and gets the force of nature back. So, yep, pretty standard Firebat going with the Lever Gnome, obviously. And Trump sticking to his plan. Uh, decides he's going to come out with the Shader Axe Gnomes from turn two. And this is where things get pretty ugly because Firebat uh, goes with the Mad Scientist, and then Trump top decks a Wild Growth and decides to abort those plans and go with the Wild Growth. And then now his shades are almost completely dead. <laughs> Which uh, is unfortunate. I think a slight mistake on Trump's part because since you know you're playing either Hybrid Hunter or Face Hunter, you're you're in a lot of trouble, and you kind of get you kind of got to get minions out in the field to be able to contest the board. Um, so he goes for the future play of getting the Wild Growth out, which is not always the greatest. And um, yeah, he has the he has the option of removing this with Swipe or Wrath. Uh, and hero power, or uh, going with developing the board, which usually means pile of cheddar, since um, even though uh, it doesn't grow like the shade, it's able to have like several lives essentially, because even if one gets killed off, uh, it can attack with the two drop that comes out of it, which is nice for killing off hunters and minions. But uh, yeah, pretty tough decision for Trump here. Um, I'm just gonna skip ahead actually, because it doesn't really matter. <laughs> there's like honest, I'm sorry, but there's a lot, not a whole lot of analysis to be done in this matchup. So in this case, Firebat does the right thing, which is just to ignore and go face. Um, he has so many, uh, he has so much damage in hand. It's extra, sorry, excuse me, an extra weapon in hand. So decides to get the buff on that. Go face. <clears throat> Trump is really, really low. No real reason at all to even touch this. Pal the Shutter, let Trump do the trading. And he's at 11 health on turn uh, 4. He has 5 mana because of the Wild Growth. And so, again, I forget what Trump does here because he's pretty much dead. I think what he, I think one thing that was critical of Trump in this game is that he didn't coin Hero Power, which is really, really important, especially because of the... Uh, his cards are even. <laughs> They're even mana cost, so he could theoretically go, um, like, swipe coin hero power and then like swipe coin hero power the next turn and stuff like that where you're, you're gaining one health every single turn but he decides not to um i believe this is a uh, explosive no it's a snake trap i'm sorry and um yeah from here firebat just is basically in complete control of the game he has the iron Reek owl plus uh kill command he's just gonna get trump down to five here and it's basically nothing that trump can do about it the one thing i have to be there are actually two things uh, critical of Trump in this situation was that he decided not to play the shade, uh, issued his plan for going with the wild growth, and uh, didn't coin hero power. In this case, I don't think he even went for the ancient of lore. I think I think he removed it with wrath. Um, oh yeah, he didn't coin he didn't hero power either here either, which is also really bizarre. Yeah, he he wrath and played the shade and didn't coin hero power even though. He has the Ancient of Lore the next turn. Wouldn't have mattered in, in, any, in any case um, because Firebat had so much damage, but just something to think about. Um, you kind of need as much uh, health as possible. But typical <laughs> Trump fashion, he tries to go greedy, which sometimes works. Uh, sometimes going for the greedy play is, is better, especially if you're way behind. So makes a lot of sense uh, in, in one way. But like, like, excuse me, like I said, uh, not a whole lot to analyze in that game. And we move on to the next game, which is uh, Freeze Mage versus Druid. 
So where uh, even though Trump drew a lot of early game in that game uh, versus the Hunter, it still didn't work out. Um, he actually has a lot of late game. It's a pretty uh, greedy Druid deck, and it serves him very, very well in this matchup. Um, obviously, I already had the spoiler alert that there's going to be a Patron versus a Freeze Mage. This is match point for Firebat, um, but as you'll see, it's it really, really... Uh, this turns into a bad situation for him <laughs> versus this particular druid. So uh, keeping the coin is nice for for uh, the freeze mage. You kind of want to save um, the the coin uh, for later turns because a lot of the times your your hand can get pretty clunky. But in this situation, he just wants the cards as fast as possible, and he figures that the blood mage can be useful later on in uh, securing that spell damage and being able to clear things out. And in this case, Trump has no way to deal with the acolyte of pain. Um, anyway, so it allows Firebat to drop a bunch of cards. Pretty good play on his part, I would say. Uh, not going by the steadfast rules of you, sh you should always play on curve with uh, Freeze Mage, but you know, going with the situation, which is that he really needed the card draw, and this was his best, um, the best way for him to do that. Trump electing not to silence that. He re realizes that he needs to silence uh, Doomsayers in the future, and. Um, Yep, Firebat going to go with, I forget, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on what he did this turn. Obviously Freeze Mage, a lot of things to consider. Um, he, I think he goes for the Ice Bear, actually. No, he goes for the Frostbolt, okay, he wants to play on Curve. Um, he... He obviously can't overdraw too much. He was at, what, 8 cards? So if he pinged his own guy, he would actually have to play. Oh yeah, I remember this. Okay, yeah. So basically, he doesn't really want to overdraw. Um, if he pinged his own guy and ran his own guy in, uh, he would have gone to... Sorry. He would have gone to... 9, I believe? In any case, he, he wanted to get some options uh, going up... Uh, coming up. So he is able to draw the Mad Scientist, and once he draws the Mad Scientist, it's definitely better to play out the Mad Scientist rather than um, rather than Hero Power there, because it basically does the exact same thing. It trades for the 2-1, and uh, you are able to thin out your deck a little bit better. And Trump basically has to trade, even though he knows it's beneficial for Firebat, because that, that uh, Mad Scientist could help trade in better ways than just trading for the 2-1, so he could maybe ping and potentially could allow Firebat to have a better turn. And uh, with this hand, Firebat is kind of a decent hand. Uh, he's able to basically freeze uh, Trump's board for a long, long time. And it kind of acts as card draw, essentially, because you can draw for the next three turns. And you're, you're obviously naturally drawing cards for the next three turns, and you're preventing your opponent from basically doing anything uh, by, by just freezing him over and over and over again, or clearing his board over and over and over again. Um, but as far as things that he wants to do to be eventually win the game, it's not the best. Um, Trump goes ahead and play, plays out the Shade of Renax Ramus. And picking up this Ice Block is obviously really horrible, so is the Ice Bear. Um, Firebat, I believe he goes for the Blizzard this turn. Um, let's just skip ahead. Oh, it goes for the, goes for the Ice Bear. Okay, I, I remember this. This, this makes a lot of sense because... Uh, what this does is allows him to save his Blizzard for future turns and potentially maybe even Flame Strike because Blizzard doesn't affect the Flame Strike at the very next turn. And if Trump plays something the next turn, then he could just Blizzard it anyway. Um, instead, Trump goes for a really, really smart play, in my opinion. He goes for the Lothith. Uh, and the casters were a little bit confused by this, but what it does is if you <laughs> obviously look at Firebird's hand, he can't do anything at all. And if he didn't pick up this Mad Science, he wouldn't have been able to even do that. Um... And no, Trump, knowing that Frost Noble obviously costs 3 mana, it would cost 8 with uh, Lothab. So um, there's almost nothing that Firebat can do that's worthwhile. And he also saw Firebat play his second Ice Barrier out, so there's basically nothing he can really do. So instead of going for what what, what most people would do, which is the Dr. Boom, he goes for Lothab, which allows him to guarantee damage in. And, by, and then, so now that he's guaranteeing damage with some of his minions here, uh, he's then able to play Ragnaros uh, to also uh, put a lot of pressure on his opponent and guarantee 8 damage to the face. 
So really heads up play by Trump there. I think that Dr. Boom, I think he would have won the game regardless because uh, Dr. Boom would have been just too much pressure. But it would allow Firebat to keep freezing the board and keep dealing with his opponent. And uh, I mean, if you think about it, he took so much damage this turn because of the fact that uh, Firebat was unable to freeze the board last turn. And on top of that, uh, he would have gotten his Dr. Boom frozen last turn. He would have gotten the the Ragnaros killed this turn as well. Uh, this turn is obviously very, very painful for Firebat, but he basically has to do it. He has to double ice lens this or else he's going to die very, very quickly. Um, yeah. But anyway, going back to the, the really smart turn by Trump, going with the Lothab on that play, it would have it prevented so much damage, or it allowed him to get so much damage in and prevented Firebat from being able to freeze over and over again. Um, this board, if he had not played the Lothab, Firebat would have been, let's see, at least nine dam nine health. He would have had at least nine health more. Plus the Rag would be dead. Plus uh, Trump's board would be uh, a four two, a five three, uh, and a 7-5 from the Dr. Boom. Although he would have taken damage from the Boom Bots, but that's something that um, you can, those Boom Bots you can use in the future as well in order to kind of prevent your opponent from being able to clear them on his own turn because he's afraid of dying to the Boom Bots on his own turn, which as you know, uh, this isn't, the Ice Block can't proc on your own turn. Um, in this case, Trump goes for the Ancient of War, which is basically impossible to kill for, for Freeze Mage. Um, Firebat stuck basically blizzing this. He can't uh, he can't flame strike and ping because of the, how big that guy is. Goes ahead and pings the Ancient of War. And uh, what does Trump do this turn? I think he he doesn't have he doesn't have combo. That's right. Uh, I forgot. I think he Doctor Booms. I'm sorry. I'm like I'm yeah. He just Doctor Booms. Okay. He makes a smart play later, but this is this is pretty standard. Just plays with Dr. Boom. It's too good. And Firebat is in a really bad position and can't really do anything. Uh, he basically has to Blizzard again. Uh, because Flame Strike obviously doesn't clear the board. And he's just left pinging random stuff to, to get him down so that he can Flame Strike the following turn. Takes a ton of damage from the boom bots and uh, Trump. What he does this turn is he saves is his combo. Um, he could have done something like just force of nature and hero power and killed his opponent, got him down to one. But he's afraid of Firebat doing something like flame strike, ice block, which he has in his hand into Alexstrasza so that he gets out of range for Trump. And Trump knows that even if he Alex draws us, uh, even if Firebat Alex draws us, that Trump can burst him down from 15 because he has those inner rates in hand. And in fact, he has two inner rates in hand, so he can actually use one of them here. So what he does is he does a really, really inefficient play, but he saves his combo, which is the important thing. He gets him down to one, uses inner rate in order to swipe, and he basically overkills him by three. But there's almost no possible way that Firebat can come back from this is is what Trump has put is the situation that Trump has put Firebat in. Very, very smart on his part. Um Firebat has to flame strike and ice block here. Um and he leaves the fire one because he has to. Because he uh obviously Trump can just hero power him down if he doesn't ice block. Trump is so far ahead here that he <laughs> goes ahead and Ancient of the Lores for cards, even though it could be useful in the future. It's one of those things where he knows he's never going to use Ancient of War on his face because uh, Firebat has to Alex draws a, his own face. So, just goes for the cards. Um, saves the Keeper. I mean, the only real, real minion he could have played here was the Keeper. He could also have Wild Growth, but just puts pressure on the field. Makes it impossible for Firebat to do anything, really. And uh, I believe does Firebat just concede here? I forgot. I think he like he just Alex himself up and then he's dead. Yeah. So he Trump Trump um a bunch of interesting decisions by him there. He basically put himself in a position where it was impossible to lose to uh, the cards in the freeze mage of uh, Firebat. So very very well played by Trump. Also 
a good deck choice, I would say. I'm going to pause it here. Um, good deck choice by Trump because uh, there's a high possibility of um, things like Freeze Mage and, and things like that. And uh, he f probably Trump figured that a lot of players in this tournament would be playing a lot of control decks, a lot of uh, mid-range decks, which allow would allow his greedy uh, Druid deck to kind of shine. And um, even if it has a couple of bad matchups versus aggro decks, it's, it is Conquest, so this deck is probably eventually going to win. And you saw how impossible it was for Firebat to deal with it. Uh, so the score is 3-2, to two, Firebat versus Trump. I will tell you now that the next match is Patron versus Freeze Mage, which is a very, very complicated matchup. And uh, I'm excited to analyze it, so uh, check out part 4 for that.